Hi guys, welcome to another video. So, today I want to talk a little bit about wireless builds. I find that there really isn't a ton of uh, resources out there for somebody trying to get started with their first wireless build. Um, and I think that's a shame because wireless builds are great. And I use one myself and I think it'd be a great thing if they were more accessible. So hopefully this video will help you get started with your first wireless keyboard build. All right, so in front of me, I have this corn, but this corn is actually different from the corn I used in my other video. This corn is actually wireless. It's using nice nanos instead of elite C's. So wherever you can use pro micros or elite C's, you can also use a nice nano. The only difference is you have to find a place where you can fit a battery. In this case, the battery is hidden right underneath the microcontroller itself. All right, so how do these wireless builds work? So we have the right side. The right side is called the slave side, and the left side is called the master side. The slave side will pair with the master side, and then the master side will pair with your laptop or computer or whatever you're using. So let's take a look at the microcontroller, the nice nano. Um, I, there are actually other microcontrollers out there that you can use. Um, I have no experience with them, so I can't say anything about them. So here we have the nice nano. So you see, same footprint as a Pro Micro or Elite C. So again, wherever you can use an Elite C or Pro Micro, you can also use a nice nano. So the very top two, the very top two holes are for the battery. So in this orientation with the logo facing up and all the components facing up, the black wire you will solder to the top left side and the red wire you will solder to the top right side. Okay? And you can test this just by touching the little wires in there. And you should see it light up a bit. So you can always test before you solder it in and make sure it's working. Everything will be working. Okay. And the other area of interest you might want to take note of is the back side. There are two little solder pads on the back. If you choose to use a large battery, um, this will give it a little charging boost. So it'll charge faster. Um, it'll go from 100 milliamps with to 500 milliamps uh, per hour but for a small battery like this where the capacity is only 11 110 milliamp hours uh, don't do that definitely only use this if you have a larger battery all right so for your wireless builds you can't use the same firmware as you do with your wired builds so you can't use via you can't use qmk you're gonna have to use a firmware that supports wireless builds. In this case, we're going to use ZMK, which was designed specifically for wireless builds. So I'll just walk you guys through the how to install ZMK, how to edit your key map, and how to flash your keyboard. All right, so there's a couple of re prerequisites. You have to have a GitHub account. So this link down here will help you get everything set up. So once you get everything set up, you have to create a new GitHub repository. In this case, let's create a new repository here. You can name it whatever you want. We'll just name it um, Corny. Corny, since uh, that's what's available. And you just click Create. Then you can move on to next step. So next step. Since I'm using Windows, I'll just use PowerShell. So just copy that, go to PowerShell, and just paste that in, and click Enter. Now for the first step, you have to choose what microcontroller you're using. So in this case, we have the Nice Nano version 2, like it says on the microcontroller itself. So in this case, we'll enter 
uh, two. And now we can choose a keyboard, whatever keyboard we're using. So we're using a corn, so we'd enter four. But if you're using something like a, a lily, 58, then you enter 14. And over here, click yes. Oops. Yes. Y for yes. And then for GitHub username, just put your GitHub username. And then wherever you want, put the repo. Um, in this case, remember we named it corny. You could, uh, just put in whatever you named your repository. And then over here, just click enter. Enter. And then it will um, create the firmware in your repository. Just refresh your little page. And then go to actions. And then currently it is building. And it'll generally take around two or three minutes to finish building. So the firmware is finished building. So what we're going to do is we're just going to click the initial user config. We're going to download the firmware. I'm not going to download it because I already downloaded it. But you just download it, extract it, and inside you will see the firmware. So for a split keyboard, you will have two firmwares. So just connect your keyboard and the screen should pop up if it doesn't pop up uh, double tap the reset button and it will put into bootloader mode and it will show this will show up so this is the left side so I'll flash just copy the left in there okay and then copy Connect the other side of the keyboard. Again, this should pop up, but if it doesn't, just double tap the um, the reset button. So over here, just copy that in. And then unplug it. And then they should pair with each other. And then you can go to Bluetooth. And then you just pair it and it should work for you. All right, so let's talk about updating your firmware now. So go back to the code tab, go into the config folder, go into the key map file click the edit button and then you'll see your key map and you can you can edit these to change what you want your key map to be like so let's say i don't want the top left of the left side of the corn to be tab anymore let's say i want it to be escape so there's codes you could do so for escape i would do ESC or escape. Okay. So just delete the tab and do ESC for escape. Okay. So once you change your key map, you can just go into commit changes and it'll start building it for you. And again, this will take like two or three minutes, maybe four minutes. All right. So our updated key map is done building now. So we will build. We will click this update corn key map. We're going to download the firmware again. We're going to extract the firmware and we're going to flash the firmware. Remember to flash the firmware, you just have to double click the reset button to put the nice nano into bootloader mode so you can flash things. When you're just updating a key map though, you only have to flash the left side. So when you download this, it's going to give you a left side and a right side. You only have to flash the left side. All right, to finish up this video, I wanted to just add a few comments. If you want an OLED screen or an RGB, um, I would definitely reconsider doing a wireless build because those do chew up the battery quite a bit and you're going to destroy your, your battery life. So the 110 
uh, milliamp hour batteries that these come with. They've lasted about a week, so you gotta charge every week. And um, if your halves ever get unpaired, you can repair them by clicking the reset button one time at the same time and give it 10 seconds and it should reconnect uh, with each other and with the la with the computer and then other than that um thanks for watching i hope you guys learned something and i'll see you guys next time